wrap dress like you can see from the title without further ado let's head right into this video don't forget to like share um leave a comment down below yes and of course subscribe you know we post juicy content here to start off we're starting off with our pattern and we're going went down by 1 cm on our center front and 0.5 for our sides but for the center back we took in nothing and extending that with our ruler on our center back we're going in by 2 cm and we're going to be connecting that up to our back line the link to this pattern is going to be in the description box below so do check that out for our neck on our neckline we're going in by 1 cm and this is just to avoid any bulging at the back you know when you you just want your dress to have this perfect fit and on the waistline we're just going to be extending that down with our ruler to our hip line so we're closing our um, shoulder that so because we're closing our shoulder that we have to transfer our that to our underarm and this is basically some form of that manipulation so from our underarm we're going down by 2 cm just so that we could have you know an ease for our, our sleeve when we're attaching our sleeve and from that to cm we're going down by um 8 cm with the help of our ruler we're going to be connecting our 8 cm to the tip of our shoulder that measurement you can go in with some extra shaping but i'm not going to be doing that because i'm in size six and i'm going i want to be working with this size six pattern i took the length from our top line down to the bottom to get my desired length i also take the that measurement and i'm just going to be marking that down there and i'm going to be connecting this with my curve this is because on the bottom side of our dress i do not want to hold on to any that Moving in with my scissors, I'm just going to be cutting our pattern piece out. We're going to be slashing the dart line and we're going to be placing another paper under the line. Once we're done closing the open space, we're going to be taking 5 cm from that line backward and connecting that with our ruler like so next up we're going to be closing our uh, that line with the help of our tracing wheel we're just going to be tracing that line out so we get the exact shape of our that line and we're going to be cutting that So we're going to be placing our center front pattern on another plain sheet of paper this will enable us you know cut our pattern piece open because it's a wrap dress so you want to cut a full flesh pattern i don't know if that makes any sense but what this means is i'm basically just going to be cutting another center front out so i'm placing that with the help of our paper tape 
and our scissors we're just going to be getting this done just like in the video i opened this up and this is what it looks like and i'm just going to be taping the center front and from the bottom i'm going by 1.5 inches and on the shoulder line i went in by one inch and i'm going to be connecting a one inch to a 1.5 inches and with the help of our french curve i basically just curved that like so from our one inch we took in and there's no specific reason why we're doing this or there's no specific way you're going to do this and i just cut that piece out so after doing that we're just basically going to cut our back piece out but before you do that remember your one inch we took out from you know the shoulder we're also going to be repeating that same one inch from our shoulder for the back also and we usually have that so whatever um we have on our darts for our sh back shoulder we're going to be taking it out from um the shoulder blade so because we don't want any shoulder darts we're going to be taking that from our shoulder blade so just to chip this in you could work with your shoulder that but this is me just doing some manipulation on my pattern and i didn't want to make use of the shoulder that i went into label my pattern and now i'm just going to be cutting out the shoulder that from the shoulder blade basically just extending our that line this is because we did a slash and spread on this dress which gave it a flounce or a flare effect I went in to lay another pattern down and I'm going to be slashing but we're not slashing through but just slashing and leaving just a little bit of um, paper holding the two pieces together and I'm basically going to be repainting that also for the center back now I'm laying my piece down on the plain sheet of paper This is called the slash and spread method and I'm just doing this just to achieve a little bit of flounce or you could call it flare on the bottom side of our wrap dress. Once I was done taping all that, I went in with my French curve. This is basically just to, you know, join our lines and just give it this round, nice circular shape. Once I'm done cutting the bottom piece, I'm going to be cutting the extra piece of paper we're not going to be needing and you know just securing that with my paper tape while I also cut round and on the other side I repeated the same method. Here's the fabric we're going to be using and basically this is just a two yard of crepe fabric. I absolutely love this fabric. After I leave my fabric unfold, I'm going to be putting my pattern piece on this and basically our center back is basically going to be the one close to the folded edge. 
and i'm going in with my pins and i'm basically going to be pinning all this down just to avoid any movements or necessary movements went in with my scissors and basically i'm just cutting this out my scissors is kind of a bit blood though so after cutting on the bottom side i didn't add any inches for allowance you know to hem because i'm actually going to be weaving or overlocking the bottom part for the um top side i added 0.5 inches which is half of an inch allowance And for our side, I added one inch allowance. This will enable us to fold this. Moving forward to our front piece, I'm moving over to laying this down and basically just going to be pinning this For that point, I didn't add any allowance and over there I added 0.5 inches allowance. So for the shoulder measurement, I didn't add any allowance and basically we're not going to be adding the same amount of allowance for everything. But you, you can go in with or stick to 0.5 inches. For the up hole, I added 1 cm allowance and this also applies for the side but you guys could also stick to adding um 0.5 inches allowance for the bottom i added 0.5 inches allowance and i'm basically just going to be cutting that Moving forward to our back piece, I'm basically just going to be pinning this down first. So for the ammo all, I'm going to be cutting once on one cm. That will be our allowance I added. And for the shoulder, we're not going to be adding any allowance whatsoever. For this side also, I'm going to be cutting 1cm. Our neckline, I'm not going to be adding any allowance whatsoever or sewing allowance. Um, for our center back, I'm going to be adding half of an inch um, allowance. So added half of an inch sewing allowance. And with all our piece all cut out and ready to sew, we're going to be heading over to our sewing machine. Hi guys, so we're going to be sewing now. 
But first up, I am basically going to be doing what I'll call transfer of that. So I'm moving over with my tracing wheel and basically just tracing out that so that it will show on our fabric or you could go in with your ruler and you know do this so for the other side which we attached with our paper tape i am basically going to be tracing also our waist that so if you take a look at this you're going to see the line i don't know if it's clear enough Moving forward, once you're done tracing out your dart, we're going to be sewing our dart. So you could easily pin and then you sew or you could sew and pin and just do that continuously till you are done sewing your dots, which is your underarm dots and um, your waist dots. Once I'm done stitching that down, we should have two pieces of, you know, our waist that in check and our underarm that in check. So for our back piece, basically what I'm doing, I'm just transferring, you know, our that from our paper to our fabric moving forward to our sewing machine we're going to be closing our center back We're going to be joining our front and our back piece respectively so we're starting with our shoulder line After joining our shoulder line on 1cm, we're going to be joining the side also by 1cm. We 
we're also going to be joining the other side by 1 cm but with a little bit of twitch. Here's what I mean by we're going to have a little bit of twitch. From the bottom line, we're going up by 2 inches. And this is just to create, you know, a space where we could have our rope pass through when we're making our wrap. And I'm just basically going to be sewing down and well, I'm going to be stopping at that two inches. took this over to my weaving machine or you could call it your overlocking machine and basically I'm just going to be overlocking or weaving the rough edges this also applies to you know where you have your shoulder joining your side but don't forget to skip you know the two inches below your waist So you remember our opening the two inches we left open we're just going to be folding that like so and with the help of our sewing machine we're going to be stitching that down On our chest line where we have that wrap, we're just basically going to be folding that like so. check to show you guys what it looks like or how far we've gone we went back to our pattern piece and we're going to be dividing our center back flounce from our center front this is for us to be able to cut out another piece of flounce for our other side of our wrap dress. Remember to place your fabric on fold before placing your pattern on the fabric and basically you're cutting on 0.5 inches allowance just like we did with the other pattern when we were cutting the other flounce. Pinning the two flounce together and once we're done with that, we're going to take this to our sewing machine. And I'm just going to be sewing that down. Moving 
forward to our sleeve from that line we're going down by four inches I'm basically just going to be connecting that with the help of our ruler and so done with that I'm just going to be cutting out our sleeve pattern the link to this sleeve pattern is going to be in the description box below so do check that out Now we're going to be slashing and we're going to be spreading just like we did initially. This is all the piece of fabric that is left. It's kind of small because we still have to, you know, cut out our rope. But anyways, we were able to work with this. So I'm basically laying our sleeve down and I'm going to be pinning this in place. So at the bottom, I try to make sure that I have the same number or the same amount of opening, which was three inches. Yours can be more if you have more fabric to use, but I'm trying to minimize my fabric over here. With the help of my French curl, I'm just going to be blending that in. So after cutting at 1cm, leaving 1cm for your allowance, for the side we're leaving 0.5 inches for your allowance. We cut out a rope which has the following dimension, the width was 4 inches and the length was 40 inches. I started off by sewing my rope and note guys you're going to be cutting out two pieces of this rope sewing allowance for the rope was 0.5 inches With the help of my scissors, I just trimmed off the excess and turned my rope inside out. Went ahead to join my rope to my dress and I'm sewing at 0.5 inches. I repeated the same thing on the other side which is joining our rope to our dress and sewing on 0.5 inches. Once you're done with that, at the bottom you should have um 0.5 inches and this is what you're going to use to attach um your body of your dress the upper body of your dress to the lower bottom of your dress which is the flounce i went ahead with my pin to pin that down just before i make a long stitch I just went over to my machine just to stitch that down.
moving forward to our sleeve i put a notch on our center and removing our pins i also placed my, a pin just to create some form of identification to which of the parts i'm attaching to the front or which parts is going to the back Another way of doing this is creating a notch. So you could either put a notch to the front piece or you could put a notch to the back piece just to create an indication. So I'm sewing on my sewing allowance which is 0.5 inches. Went over to my overlocking machine and weave that down. So you're also going to repeat this same step for your other sleeve. to pin our wrap dress to our sleeve I feel you should be familiar with the steps now you know after pinning we sew and then we overlock or we weave I took this to the overlocking machine and basically I'm just going to be weaving our waist line. So here are some of a couple of things we're going to be weaving. We're going to be weaving our waist line. We're going to be weaving our you know armhole and we're going to be weaving the bottom of this dress. This particular clip from this video is a bit blurry so you guys just forgive me forgive me guys but I'm basically just going to you know just make a little bit of top stitching just at the place we stitched our rope to our dress It should look like something like this all in place so we're going to be hemming you know the outer part of this wrap dress and I went in with my pin just to pin that down just before hemming
opening we're just going over to stitch that down nice and smooth We repeat at the same step for the other side where we have our rope. Here comes one of my favorite parts which is attaching our label to the dress. You could do this manually like with your needle and thread but I like to do this with my sewing machine. It's easier and faster. If you found this video really helpful, don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe if you haven't. Yes, you could click on the dumbbell so you get notified when I post a new video. See you on my next tutorial.